بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اللهم افتح لي فيه ابواب الجنان او الله in this month open to me the gates of paradise واقلق عني فيه ابواب النيران and close to me the gates of the hell ووفقني فيه لتلاوة القرآن and help me in this month for recitation of the Quran يا منزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين O the one who sends down tranquility to the heart of the believers We are told that in this month as we have in the Khutbah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the sermon he gave in the month of Sha'ban about Ramadan, that in this month the doors of the gates of the heaven of paradise are open. So try not to close it for yourself. And the gates of hell are closed. Try not to open it for yourself. We are asking that Allah keeps the doors and gates of paradise open for us and the gates of hell closed for us as it is the norm in this month by asking that in effect we are asking for the causes that keeps the gates of paradise open for us and the causes that keeps the gates of hell closed for us any good that we do any good intention, good word, good act would keep the gates of paradise open. Paradise is the abode of purity and therefore impurity cannot get in. As soon as impurity gets close to paradise, the gates of paradise are closed. And as soon as purity gets close to hell, the gates of hell gets closed and therefore what we are asking in effect from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dua the dua of the day 20th of this month is that to give us assistance so that we do things that keeps the gates of paradise open as it is open in this month and keeps the gates of hell closed for us as it is closed in this month unless if we do things which would cause otherwise. Allahumma aftah li fiha abwaab al janan. Open the gates of paradise for me means open the gates of charity for me. Open the gates of worship for me. Open the gates of night prayer, night vigil for me. Open the gates of helping others for me. Open the gates of humbleness and humility. Close the doors of hell means close the doors of every evil wrongdoing, jealousy, greed to my heart. These are the things which are our tunnel to hell or our tunnel to paradise. وَوَفِّقْنِي فِيهِ لِتَلَاوَةِ الْقُرْآنِ And give me assistance and support me in this month for recitation of the Qur'an. Of course, uh, recitation of the Qur'an has different levels. We have different qualities of recitation. And when we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to give us tawfiq for recitation of the Qur'an, first of all, and in the first instance, what we are asking is to, to have some time, not to busy ourselves too much in this month so that we are deprived of even physical, trans, physical recitation of the Qur'an. And secondly, to have tawfiq of true recitation, reading, understanding, following, and talawa has two meanings. One meaning is recitation and the other meaning is following, and both of them are incorporated in this dua actually. So help us to recite and to follow the Qur'an. Ya munazzal as-sakinate fi qulub al-mu'mineen, O the one who sends down tranquility to the hearts of the believers. Tranquility is, in, its, in effect, equal to faith. Faith brings tranquility to the heart. 
هو الذي أنزل السكينة في قلوب المؤمنين ليزدادوا إيمانا مع إيمانهم in Surah Al-Hadid he is the one who sent down tranquility to the heart of the believers to add faith to their faith and therefore by asking tranquility and sakina and peace of the heart we are asking more faith from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and here he is the one who increases our who made make our faith to increase who sends down sakina to the hearts of the believers وصلى الله على محمد وعلى الطاهر